In the 83rd verse of Viveka Chudamani, Shankaracharya says, Anukshanam yat parihritya krityam anadi avidya kritabandha mokshanam deha parartho ayam amushya poshane ya sajjate sa swamanena hanti. A person who does not do what one has to do always. And what is that? Anadi Vidya Krita Bandha Mokshanam. One has to constantly attempt or try to get freedom, moksha, from the bondage caused by avidya, ignorance, which is anadi, which is without beginning. We don't know when ignorance began or when ignorance came into existence. But we know that ignorance will end. Just like if there is a cave which is dark, we don't know when that darkness started in that cave. But we do know that if you take light, if you bring light into the cave, the darkness will end. So ignorance has no beginning, but it has an end. Anadi avidya. It has no beginning. And what should we do? We should strive to get rid of this bondage produced out of this ignorance, produced out of this false understanding of ourselves and the world. And people who don't, don't do that, people who do not attempt to get free from this bondage and deha parartha I am Amushya Poshane. And what do they do? They <clears throat> try to Poshane, try to nourish or protect or take care of this Deha, this body, which is Parartha, which is for the enjoyment of others. This body is for the enjoyment of others, not for your own enjoyment. That means... How is it for the enjoyment of others? Because after you die, if you are going to be burnt, then fire will enjoy your body. Or if you are going to be buried, then vultures and wolves and foxes will eat your body. And that is what is going to happen to your body. So this body is to be enjoyed by other people, not by you. Parartha hai, para artha hai. Para means others, artha means for the sake of, here for the enjoyment of. So this body which is going to be enjoyed by other people, you are constantly portioning, you are nourishing it, you are taking care of it, you are maintaining it, etc. The person who does that, yah sajjate, a person who does this, sa swamanena hanti, that person kills oneself, commits suicide. This is the idea. So, Anukshanam. Now, if one wants to attain liberation, if one wants to attain moksha, then you should have dispassion from sense objects. Vishaya Vairagya. You should be dispassionate about sense objects. If you are not dispassionate, if you don't have dispassion with sense objects, then you cannot attain, you cannot attain liberation. You cannot attain freedom from suffering. You can attain freedom from suffering only if you have dispassion. It is not possible that you enjoy sense objects and at the same time you get freedom from suffering. As long as you enjoy sense objects, so long you will suffer. And that cannot be stopped. So this thing, we should be very clear. That if you have to done moksha, do moksha sadhana, if you have to get rid of suffering, if you want to put an end to suffering of your life, 
then you have to put an end to your attachment to sense objects. You have to be dispassionate. If you 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 should have vairagya, vishaya vairagya. You should have vairagya from sense objects. And why will you do that? Because all these sense objects are the objects of enjoyment of the body and mind, gross body, sthula sharira. Your mind and body they enjoy these sense objects. And are you the mind and the body? No, you are not. You are not mind and the body. So if you constantly think about yourself as the mind and the body, then you will not be able to attain the knowledge of your true personality and you will not be able to put an end to suffering. So you have to understand that this is anatma. This is not your true personality. This is not you. This is not your name. Whenever new year comes, what happens? What happens when new year comes? Mm. Excitement celebration. What happens? New year? Yeah, happy new year. Wish happy new year. Then what happens? No. New year started. Oh, new year started. In which class do you study? Eight. Eight. So what happens when new year comes? Suppose 2015 came. What happened? You go to school, right? Yeah. Our mind fills with enjoyment. No. When you go to school, you have to write the date, right? What date do you write? New date. You write new date. That's it. So, when 2015 came, you never by mistake wrote 2014. So, when 2013 goes away, you will write instead of 2014, you will write 2013. When 2015 comes, you write 2014. Because you are wrongly thinking that it is 2014. So, what is the way to change that mistake? To remember that no, no, it is 2015. Correct? If you say no, 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 it is correct. 2014 is correct. What will happen? People will call you mad. So, you have to change it. Similarly, if you are suffering, that is because you think, now I should eat lot of ice cream. And you don't get ice cream, you suffer. Simple. You now think that I want this video game. You don't get the video game, you suffer. You think that you have to see this TV show. You don't get the TV show, you suffer. You feel bad. So now, if you have to stop suffering, what you should do? You should not think about the ice cream. You should not think about the video game. Or you should not think about the TV serial. Or the movie, whatever it is. So that is what. So if I have to <coughs> remember that 2015 is the year in which I am, then I have to constantly remind, Are nahi, nahi, abhi 2015 hai. Similarly, if you have to put an end to suffering, you have to stop getting attached to the enjoyments of body and mind. Because that is not your personality. That is not you. You are not body and mind. That you have to understand. Otherwise, what will happen? Whole life you will suffer. You will study, then you will get a job, then you will marry and then suffering, constantly suffering, suffering, suffering. And so for that we have to give up attachment, asakti or this attachment to things we should give up. Suppose somebody says that, will you eat this sweet? I say, no, I don't want to eat because I have, I want to take care of my health and so I don't want to eat the sweet. But I have already taken food, I cannot eat sweet. Or I have diabetes, I cannot eat sweet. Or I have triglyceride, I cannot eat sweet. Whatever it is. And suppose you want to eat ice cream. And you say, can I get ice cream? And there is no harm in eating ice cream. Otherwise, how will ice cream sell? No? So, ice creams also will sell. And how will you eat? You say, yes, will I get ice cream? Then you know that no, it is not available. Then you should not be suffering. You should not say that no, if I don't get ice cream, so bad, etc. 
a thought came into your mind that you should take ice cream and you didn't get ice cream okay it's all right that should be the attitude that should how we should that is how we should live and if we do like that then we will have no suffering why because there is no attachment there is no attachment actually objects don't create suffering attachment to the objects create suffering mobile phone is a simple mobile phone if you lose a mobile phone what you should do immediately give a complaint to the police station and get your sim blocked get a new sim and get a new mobile phone that's all but what do people do first 4 hours they will cry my mobile phone is lost uh, and then they will go here and there and all people who are nearby everybody will come in mental tension that oh mobile phone gone mobile phone gone what is the necessity what is the use but that is how we do so then we say mobile phone ke wajah se kitna kitni pareshani hai mobile phone does not did not cause cause you this problem it is you who unnecessarily created so much of confusion who caused the problem now if bank interest rate has come down what can you do you are not the prime minister you are not the finance minister and what those people can also do it is very complicated it is dependent on the whole world economic scenario so interest rate has come down but what we do do oh, interest rate has come down huh. have you a plan what to do how to keep your income steady you don't have any plan what you will do is you will eat more you will drink four cups of coffee or tea whatever it is more and they'll say ab kya hoga interest kam ho gaya nothing will happen and all people who are coming near you will all get depressed if you are a wife your husband will get depressed a husband means wife will get depressed and ha ah, kya hoga before giving an examination you are supposed to study but you don't study and you go and appear for an examination afterwards what will happen your mother will be in problem because ma bhalo kore diye ni ki hobe yes so porikha ki hobe so now are you should have properly studied before the examination but no and now the mother is thinking maharaj ki hobe or na mon khub kharab o apni oke kichu bole din and now we have to do all these type of things see sadhus we gave up everything and came to the ashrama but now everything is coming behind <laughs> now somebody comes and says aap aap isko bol do aap isko bol do mera business acha nahi chal raha aap kuch batao all kinds of stupid advice we have to give so why because of this asakti because of this attachment you are attached and that is why this is happening so if you don't have attachment if you give up attachment then it is very easy for you to have vairagya if you give up attachment then vairagya will automatically come so we say you should have dispassion you should not be dis- you should be dispassionate about sense objects only then you will be able to attain mukti so how to attain that dispassion by cultivating non attachment cultivating non attachment how do you know what is non attachment you are going to school and the teacher is telling something good to you so when teacher tells something very good what a nice boy so you feel very proud and you look at others like this and this so you will feel nice say for one week the teacher appreciates you and afterwards does not care about you starts appreciating some other student then you feel very bad now the teacher is not looking at me patai dichana what will happen etc etc then you should not bother okay then teacher attended to me now she or he is bothered with other student then you should not bother that is non attachment and when should we practice non attachment from the beginning from childhood we should practice non attachment so you will not get any suffering you want to be happy in life if you want to be happy in life you should not be attached to anything you just do your work and don't get attached so that is what is the best message of the life of shri shri krishna and also the best message of bhagavad gita one message which comes out swami ji says from the life of shri krishna and bhagavad gita is non attachment you see shri krishna did so many things but he was not attached he did not do anything for himself he did not enjoy anything and finally how did he die a hunter killed him by just putting an arrow on his feet 
which is so simple so he was non attached so that non attachment if you develop you will get easily you will become dispassionate about sense objects and because of that you will get the the desire for liberation and you will get liberated now how do we get this attachment because we think that something is something which is it, which it is not we mistake one thing for the another that is how we get attachment how is it suppose you go on a tar road in summer a highway and you are sitting in the car or in the bus and you are looking from the window straight and then you see that there some water is there on tar road because i don't know how many of you have gone to desert so the desert example cannot be given but tar road many people have gone almost all of you have gone highways so there you will see water is there when you go near there is no water water was never there but you feel that it is so you now think that if you have if you eat that sweet it will be so nice so wonderful if you have that particular dress it will be so nice so wonderful all of the all people think when they come to mayavati this place before they think if i can go to mayavati you have read about it you have seen the photographs you have seen photographs on the internet you, and many people go and tell oh it is so nice etc then you think oh mayavati such a great place i will go after you come what happens you see oh this is mayavati that's it nothing is there so nothing is there if you don't have anything in your mind nothing will be here you come to mayavati and you see what is that what do you see when you come to mayavati you see my mobile phone has no signal you see that i am not able to go anywhere then you are in the guest house such a beautiful guest house but there you will be thinking the tiger will come tiger has never come here only leopards came that also maybe in one year maybe they come somewhere but all people say a group of teachers came some time back and they were saying maharaj is there tiger is there a tiger will they eat me it's like that so you think that this place is full of tigers and we are all kinds of nonsensical ideas because you are afraid about that now then you go back to mayavati ha koto bhalo chilo how nice it was what nice it was you were always thinking about tigers you are you were thinking about your airtel or vodafone whatever phone connection it is not coming that is what you were thinking about where you thinking about himalayas where you thinking about atman where you thinking about shri ram krishna or god no you were not so that is what we mistake one thing for another we think that if i get this then all problems in my life will be solved but no no external object can give you uh, freedom from suffering it will only increase the suffering it cannot give you any freedom from suffering unless you are ready even if you come to this place you will not be able to meditate even if you go to himalayas you will be thinking how to take bath you will not be able to meditate you will be thinking i have got knee pain you will not be able to meditate so it is not the place or the external object but what you want so that is if you have seen prism prism dekhe chho prism if you keep some uh, something colorful near the prism and you see from the other side suppose there is a red paper kept there red whole prism will become red if you keep a blue paper whole prism will become blue or a person shri ram krishna says who has got jaundice everything will become yellow but nothing has become yellow it is because you see like that if you put a cooling glass with that kind of a, a glass then all these things whatever you see will appear uh, dark right when you put a cooling glass that is why they have this photochromatic and all that but nothing has changed everything is same but it is appearing like that because you are thinking it to be bad mother for example mother to a mother her child is the best child that fellow will be useless uh, he may be doing all kinds of mischief fighting with everybody in the mohalla 
হ্যাঁ ইন দ্য নেইবারহুড বাট আমার ছেলে কত ভালো ওয়াই বিকজ ইট ইজ ইউর ছেলে হ্যাঁ ক্রোজ চাইল্ড ফর এ ক্রো দ্য চাইল্ড ইজ বিউটি কুইন what can be done though though black but the crow will think my child so it has to be beautiful so like that so that is why why it happens because of adhyasa it is called adhyasa superimposition you are imposing something on something which is not there and how does this superimposition imposition come it it comes because of ignorance because of ignorance and that has to be removed unless you remove that you will not get freedom from suffering so the first superimposition is we think that this body is me the superimposition of ahankara or ego on the body and mind etc so i think that this body who am i i am the body so take a selfie and put it on facebook that is the first thing you do you meet somebody you take sir sir selfie like uh, like that take and put and put it on the facebook so why because you are the body so you are the body so what happens same thing when you become old so you become depressed because now your body is not so beautiful now anymore so your body so you are not beautiful so you become depressed but imagine if you think that you are not the body what will happen what are the practical benefits of thinking you are not the body suppose somebody comes and says i will slap you you will be smiling yes because i am not the body so if we slap me also nothing will happen to me in fact government is working on a project where they will tell these things to the soldiers these upanishadic concepts will be told to the soldiers and soldiers will government of india is working on a project like that and soldiers will know i am not the body so suppose a soldier goes like that to an enemy and you go on stabbing that person he will not be defeated because what we think we become so you are not the body you you can do whatever you want you can you can achieve whatever you want that is why you are able to travel thousands of kilometer using these vehicles because the vehicle is does not say never the vehicle will say oh i am tired i will not go a car never it will say i am tired i will not go and if you are got petrol in that the car will go the driver will say i am tired i will not go because the driver thinks that the driver is the body so first you have to give up this idea that i am the body first you have to give up the idea of ego i am doing this i am doing this that is what makes us tired what makes us tired the consciousness that i am doing it i am doing it otherwise you can do so many things you are not doing it if you always think i am doing it i am doing it you become tired because that consciousness ami ami i am doing it that makes you tired so that you have to give and only when you give that it will be easy for you to give up the idea of body we are not able to give up the idea that i am the body because we are not able to give up the idea that i am doing things kartritva bodha i am not able to give up the idea that i am body because i am not able to give up the idea that i am doing things if you give up the idea that i am doing things automatically it will be easy for you to give up the body sometimes people who work in hospitals they have seen this doctors you see patients who don't who are unable to die they are unable to die and in some hospitals there are people who go they call immediately doctor says no no if the person is a christian call a father of a hindu call a swami or a priest why because that person will come and tell no 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 now some mantra that person will say and say that now you are free you can go people don't die they are unable to die and the again pulse goes off again comes back goes off comes back it happens so why because they feel that i have so many works left in the house actually those people will be happy if this fellow goes away but still they think that i have so many things left i have to do etc and they are unable to give up the body so why because you feel that you are the body and what happens so many things together become body what are those so many things blood bone marrow bone marrow 
and flesh and so many things and all dirt, everything is body. What is body? If you don't take bath for one day or two days, three days, then you yourself will not be able to smell yourself. Such a horrible smell you have. So, but animals, do they take bath every day? Even dogs, even in houses, domestic dogs, they don't take bath every day. But they don't smell like that bad. So, we are worse than dogs actually, body wise. And that we should understand. Our We say body, body, body means what? It is all made out of this. Those things will be removed, there will be no body. So, we are not body. This idea we should understand. And if we forget about our true personality and we say that this is body, this is body, then what we do? We take here, Shankaracharya says that Amushya Poshane, the care for maintaining and protecting the body. So, now there is, they are saying within five years we will find out the medicine of becoming um, what you call of uh, um, uh, reducing the aging process so up to 80 people will be like sweet 60s uh, 16 something they will be uh, they will not age at all and so they want to find it out uh, so i am why because you feel that i am this body so you take extra precaution you take extra care to maintain this body you open any newspaper, any magazine, there are so many advertisements that use our soap and you will become fair. Use our cream, you will have no wrinkle. Use this, you will become fresh, etc. So, you are the body, so you have to use all these things. And people thinking like that, they constantly kill oneself by this physical body. Suppose the very old uh, example, that a person has put spectacles and people who wear spectacles for a long time, they have spectacles on their eyes and they ask, where is my specs? Where, where are my specs? Because they forgot. Or sometimes somebody has put a uh, necklace like this and they, they ask, where is my necklace? So like that, we are trying to find out our personality in the body. And because of that, we get so much of suffering. So what we should do? We should give up the idea that I am the body. Unless you do, it will be like suicide. It will be like committing suicide. If you commit suicide, what do you do? You try to kill yourself. So here also, you are trying to kill yourself. Because if you think you are not the body, you can do so many things. You are not limited. But you are thinking, I am limited. I am the body, so I am limited. So much of height I have got. So much weight I have got. And only so much think, things I can do. And if a person becomes old, then only so much I can do. Or if a person is young, oh, I am a small boy, what can I do? Because you think you are the body. You are not the small boy. You are not the old woman or the old man. You are Atman, which has no limits. You can do anything you want. And so, why does Shankaracharya say that you kill yourself? So, manena hanti. Because by thinking you as a body by thinking yourself as body you kill yourself because it is because of the body and mind that you get dukkha you get suffering so constantly you kill yourself by thinking of yourself as body so Shankaracharya says the best method to get out of this is to think yourself as <laughs> anukshanam kritya what you have to do constantly every second you have to do what you have to do? You have to think of yourself as the Atman, which is the true personality of yours. And if somebody parihritya, if somebody gives it up, then that person does suicide, commits suicide. So, Sri Ramakrishna also says that the goal of human life is to attain self-realization or God-realization. And in Isa Upanishad it is told, Atma Hano Janaha. People who do not do this, they commit suicide. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat.